Hello everyone, I'm Johnny and today I'm recommending a Danish World War II film titled April 9th. The film is set during the German invasion of Denmark, April 9th, 1940. The film is well worth watching for a very down-to-earth and realistic telling of the invasion. April 9th focuses on being believable rather than exciting. Now I'm not going to say I'm tired of watching war movies from the perspective of snipers, paratroopers, or other elite forces. But I have to say it's very refreshing to watch a war film told from a more mundane and common soldier's perspective. In this case, the movie focuses on a bicycle infantry company and motorcycle platoon, which was tasked with holding off the German advance until reinforcements arrive. These men aren't depicted as overly brave, special, or well-trained. They don't seem to know each other overly well. They are nervous, or at least tense. There are mood-building scenes in the film, where you follow the bicycle infantry company during routine drills, changing a bike tire, and rifle practice. They know war is in the air. Germany had already invaded nearby Poland. Mundane drills can take on a darker feeling when war is close by. Some viewers may find such scenes slow or tedious, but it sets the mood on who these men were. They were just regular people, with no special training, and certainly no special equipment. The build-up to the invasion is designed to make you feel like these men could be you, and your neighbors, about to fight off an army 20 times your size. Once the fighting or skirmishing begins, the scenes are very well done and realistic. Fighting, maneuvering, falling back, a bit of terror and chaos. The action scenes are well balanced, nothing is dramatized, and nothing is pulled back or blurred. I particularly appreciate no shaky cameras and no soundtrack during the fighting. In fact, I'd say the battle sound design is the best feature of the whole film. Come down, come down, come down. The German invasion of Denmark was one of the shortest military operations of the Second World War. Denmark had a World War II population of 3.8 million. Germany's and Austria's population was over 80 million. The invasion lasted six hours, of which two hours was actual fighting. Only approximately 16 Danish soldiers were killed, with another 20 wounded. Danish Prime Minister Thorvald Stauning ended the struggle after two hours of fighting, fearing Copenhagen would be bombed as Warsaw was during the invasion of Poland. Not all units received communication of Denmark's surrender. Some fought on, like the bicycle unit focused on during the film. Military enthusiasts will appreciate the armored vehicles featured in the film, including a mock-up Panzer II. The Danish are all equipped with historically authentic weapons like their Krag Jorgensen rifles, Madsen machine guns, and 20mm cannon. You can imagine the nerve you'd have to have fighting off armored vehicles with this, attached to a motorcycle. But it's what they were trained on and asked to do. Between each action scene, there are slow, quiet, nervous aspects of war, often ignored on film. I like these scenes of just trudging along on bicycles, the soldiers not knowing their fate. If you find yourself bored during such scenes, use your imagination. Try and think of what might be going on in these men's heads during this time. The film's end is quiet. You are left to wonder what these men must have been wondering. What happens to them now? And did their training and brief fighting have any purpose. Alright, I'm Johnny. Thank you for watching. Do check out April 9th if you want a more toned down and realistic war movie and one from a Danish perspective. Like and subscribe if you want to support the channel, blah blah blah. And I'll see you next time.